Hello, I'm Matt Fedick with SoldBuyShortSale.com, Pennsylvania and Delaware's leading short sale specialist. And I is always want to start off by saying thanks for joining me today. I know there are a lot of places where you can go for information on short sales and foreclosures and deed in lieu of foreclosures and bankruptcy, um, walking away. Um, loan modifications and you've chosen to come to us for some information and we really appreciate it. So I want to share with you today and my thoughts on why banks like to do short sales. Why would a bank prefer to do a short sale over foreclosing on the home? You know people say like, I don't get it Matt why would my bank take less than what's owed? Well let's face it if you are behind in your mortgage payments or have stopped making your mortgage payments, or you're soon going to be in that position, perhaps because of loss of income or job transfer, you're in, in imminent default of, of getting behind. It is always, I mean, again, I suppose there's at times where it might not be, it is generally in the bank's best interest to do a short sale when they know that they can't modify the loan or keep you in the home. So, you know, the banks want to do retention first. If they can keep you there, they want to keep you there through a loan modification or something like that, and that's a great option. If they can't, then their best opportunity is to mitigate or reduce the amount of loss that they're going to have on the loan that they made. You know, when we do a short sale, we put your home on the market, we handle the entire sales process for them, we encourage you to keep living the home and maintaining it, keeping it insured, keep the utilities on, protect the value in today's market, do those types of things. And then we can get the best value for the home, the best offer that we can, and then we can send it to the bank and share with them why the money that they're going to receive from this sale is better than doing foreclosure. You know, banks are in the, in the uh, business of lending money. They're not in the business of owning real estate. They have no interest in acquiring and holding real estate. Certainly not hundreds, if not thousands of properties that are behind in their mortgage. They don't have the wherewithal to manage a portfolio like that. You know, when the bank forecloses, they're the ones that have to maintain it, right? They've got to cut the grass, shovel the snow. They've got to insure it so it doesn't, uh, you know, so if it burns down, that they're protected. They've got to secure it and make sure that it's either boarded up or locked up. They then have to hire a real estate agent to market it for them. They still got to sell it, and they've got to manage that entire process. So the process of foreclosure, does, without even taking into the cost of legal fees, attorney fees, court time, um, filing the, uh, the foreclosure notice, having the sheriff actually do it, that is a very, very costly proposition. And when we can sell the home and say, hey, look, you don't have to hire attorneys, you don't have to go to court, you don't have to maintain it, here's number X. Number X, at nine out of ten times, is going to be much higher than number Y if they go to foreclosure. So we generally know that the banks would prefer a short sale if they're in, you know, heading towards an impending loss. They're going to go to, they would prefer to go to, to short sale than they would foreclosure in many circumstances. If you would like to know more about the short sale process or short sales in general, please visit our website, soldbyshortsale.com. We provide services in Philadelphia and Chester County, Delaware County, Montgomery County, Newcastle County, Delaware. Um, feel free to click for more information or give us a call. And Myself and Kevin and Jill, our short sale team, would be happy to share with you anything that we know. I look forward to talking to you soon. Don't hesitate to give us a call.